Um, when I first found out about the event and I imagined all the political fierce women in one place, I was absolutely thrilled to take part. And I'm happy to stand in front of you not just as a woman, but as a young northern working class woman. Yes! And for those who stand with me in, in fear in the current state of social vulnerability in the UK, the nominations for the culprits are open, but it's what we do now that matters most. It's now more than ever that we need to change the way that we do politics. Yes. yes! If I had to produce a word that summed up the social dynamics of Britain today, I'd choose alienation. Alienation of women, alienation of the most vulnerable in society, working class people being left out of decision making processes, young people being locked out of debate, and the hopelessness of people who have no power in shaping their own destinies. We exist in a society, especially as women, where our identity and what it means to be us are shaped and defined by people who don't truly represent us. And in the lead up to the EU referendum, there was a big black hole that should have been filled by women and young people and people of colour and people from working class backgrounds yes. engaging in conversations yes. about things that matter most to them. And politics needs to reinvent itself to include women, but not just women who sit in university lecture theatres and not just women who sit in boardrooms, but women who don't know how much they need politics. Yes. Yes. I work for a charity called Reclaim that seeks to end leadership inequality within a generation. We work with young people from working class backgrounds across Greater Manchester who want to make a difference in the world. And Reclaim was born out of frustration. The frustration of the misrepresentation of working class people and the raw deal that they were being served by society. The young people think critically of the world around them. They know their place within the political and social landscape. They're creative and innovative in the way that they think. They're not disengaged, disenfranchised or disadvantaged. They have things to say but they aren't always heard. And Reclaim are politically neutral but politically driven. And they envision a society in which working class people are truly represented and young people lead that change. And when I was first asked to make this speech I said yes straight away. Because of course I'd want to speak about things that I care about amongst like-minded people. But like many great women I know, within seconds I was plagued with self-doubt and questioned my own brilliance and sought the reassurance of basically every person I know. <laughs> and one of the people that I asked was a young reclaimed pioneer, Neve, who's 13, wow. who I also mentor. Woo! And like me, was born on an estate in South Manchester. And instead of asking her what she'd want me to say for her, she's bravely written her own speech. So I'm really happy to pass on to her. Reclaim has helped me to find who I truly am. It's helped me to understand the world, especially the struggles women face. I want to talk to you about the importance of having a good female support network, especially when you are 13 years old. Yes. For example, one of my own model, role models is my mum, because I know she has, she has faced struggles and overcome them by knowing there is always something to believe in. It's important to see women who inspire you to believe in yourself and have your voice heard. The pressures of being a 13 year old is hard, but the pressures of being a 13 year old girl are even harder. For me, it, it is important to read and hear stories of women overcoming hardship. It is well known that women face challenges, but people like you make me believe I can get my voice heard. You people are my role models. You people make me believe we can put a stop to inequality. You people show everyone that, that we are all equal and fair. And coming from a 13 year old girl who was hidden from the real world, I want to show women and girls all around the world who are ashamed of who they are and can't get their voice heard, you are not alone. We women and girls together can, can come together and fight for our rights. Thank you. Yeah. Let's give them another round of applause.